Dear Heavenly Father. Dear God, here I am. Oh, Lord. Okay. God, I get that these weeks leading up to Easter are a time to restore my soul and deepen my relationship with you, but practicing forgiveness? Why do I have to practice giving? Do you ever get tired of hearing me complain? I want to live well through Lent. I just want it to be less painful. Lord, all my life I've heard about giving up something for Lent, but I gotta admit, I don't really understand why, especially right after Christmas. Just a couple months ago, I gave to like three charities and toys for tots. Oh yeah, and I took food to the soup kitchen. Oh my goodness, not to mention all the gifts for family and friends and co-workers and neighbors. I don't really mind giving during Christmas, but I do I really have to do it again so soon? My giving spirit is feeling kind of tapped out, God. Why is it enough? Are you asking me to deprive myself? That hardly seems fair. Then again, I don't mind sharing what I have, like my car. I can give someone a ride. Or are you going to send someone to my home that needs a place to stay for the night? I'll say yes to that. Anyway, God, I really do want to live well through Lent. How can I do that with giving? The spirit of giving is not confined to a single season. While you have given generously during the Christmas season, the journey of Lent calls for a different kind of giving, a giving that springs from your heart and not obligation. Consider this a time to assess the abundance in your life, not only in material possessions, but also in love, time, and talents. It's not about exhausting yourself, but about finding a joy and fulfillment to both you and those in need. Think of giving beyond your comfort zone as a way to expand your heart and soul. It doesn't necessarily mean complete deprivation, but a meaningful sacrifice. Focus on the gift of salvation that Christ gave at Easter should be your motivation. Are you struggling? Remove the sense of obligation. Look for the joy in obedience. Perhaps you can give in a different way. Look around. Is there someone who needs a blessing? Sharing your home, your car, your lunch. These gestures, when done with a generous heart, can bless both the recipient and the giver. Because when you have given unto the least of these, you have given unto me. Learning to give generously will prepare you to have a generous spirit throughout the year. That is living well through Lent.